I'm Nicole Scott with BNetTV.com. I'm down here at CTIA Wireless in Las Vegas, and we are running into another Calgarian, Paul Potnam from Mob for Hire. How are you doing today? I'm doing very, very well. Thank you. Well, you know, we all love crowdsourcing everything that, that, that goes on around it. Now, tell me your dynamic, dynamic view on that. Well, crowdsourcing is, is probably one of the most capital efficient ways of uh, starting up new companies, getting people around the world to get involved in various projects. And we're using that directly through Mob for Hire to recruit testers and get developers and testers together, uh, basically having testers using their own handsets to test mobile applications. Now, where did you come up with this idea? How did, how did you come up with this? There's, there's definitely a need in the market, but how did, how did you put the two together? Well, uh, I had spent some time at uh, Cambrian House, which is basically the home of crowdsourcing uh, world, worldwide, and uh, started thinking about crowdsourcing in terms of mobile, the mobile space, and really didn't find a lot of uh, uh, people getting in, into that. And I started thinking, what makes sense in terms of the mobile space and crowdsourcing, and came up with Mob for, Mob for Hire. And effectively, what we do is crowdsource mobile application testing. So can, can you walk me through how... Um, re like realistically and practically uh, a company would use your services? Well, a typical mobile developer has four major problems when it comes down to testing. First one is getting the handsets. Uh, if you've ever tried to get a handset in Bolivia uh, from, Ca from Canada or Calgary, you know the difficulty of trying to do that. Second uh, problem is obviously getting subscriptions to those handsets, the costs that are involved with that. If you do have a network, a uh, third problem is if you have a network application, certainly it's very, very difficult to test that, that application in Canada. Every single uh, a carrier has different uh, uh, networking modes that are, are set in there. The test has to be done in that country. So if you want to sell in Bolivia on a network type of application, you effectively have to send in a team to Bolivia to, to test that application. The fourth problem is using your own developers is really uh, to test is a bad idea because they're not very good testers. They're usually very good developers but, but poor testers. So you send some of your own team down to Bolivia, they test, they don't find any problems, it all looks good until you launch and then you find out there's issues. So what we're doing with Mod for Hire is getting testers from around the world we're just in about uh, 700 testers right now, 24 countries, 59 different carriers. Um, so we're, we're, and we're expanding that every single day. We're getting more and more uh, handsets coming in. So it's basically a bidding process. A uh, tester takes a look at a uh, developer's application, test plan, um, uh, moves ahead, puts a bid in. Maybe it's $50, maybe it's $100 to test an application. Once that uh, a bid uh, process has been completed, the developer then uh, agree, they agree to that, that, the application gets downloaded to the tester, they do their testing, send in a, a test plan back to the developer. Once that's all a go, the developer then ranks the tester, gives them five stars or four stars, whatever. So you get some feedback in terms of various testers that are out there. We just launched to beta three days ago, last, uh, last Thursday. So we're very, very excited, very, very happy to be here at CTIA today. Fantastic. Now, the, the last time we talked, you were in alpha, now you're in beta. Yeah. So th things are just yeah. moving along quite smoothly Absolutely. for you. Absolutely. We're doing, we're doing super well. We've got a lot of interested uh, 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 developer uh, uh, network uh, right now that are, are moving ahead, uh, various portal companies, uh, and obviously anyone that's developing for the mobile space can use our service. Now, can, can you give me an idea of, of what what the, um, the prices are, like you, you, we're going to bid for the testers, but is it, is, will, it, will it be that much cheaper than going with, say, uh, Pac-a-Mobile out of, out of uh, France, or what's the, what's the savings for, for, for going with Mob for Hire? Well, certainly we, we think uh, it's, it's going to be competitive in terms of the testers. Um, we've uh, been uh, past president of a location-based uh, game company before. I realized that we, we were spending about five to six thousand dollars per handset to test one application and quite often we had to test 30 applications at, at the same time so anything that is certainly less than that in terms of moving ahead is, is going to be a win for, for the for the developer fantastic well Paul thanks so much for taking the time to bring bring a new an, a new and innovative look at this whole wireless and mobile industry crowdsourcing is always one of those things that I love to see move forward in in this whole business area
Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. This has been Paul Boatnin from Mob for Hire, and I'm Nicole Scott with BNetTV.com, figuring out what's new at CTIA.